But first, we do start with that beach hazard statement. In Seaside, lifeguards there rescuing four people. We have team coverage tonight. Our chief meteorologist, Dan Sionka, tracking the conditions. But first, let's get right out to KION's Donya Romero, live on the coast, leading us off tonight. Donya, we've seen multiple water rescues over the past 48 hours out there. Yeah, that's right, Scott. Now, one of those rescues happening right here behind me. Now, there are signs here like this one here behind me reading in bold letters, danger, unsafe surf, and no lifeguards. Now, other lifeguards here are telling me that these conditions are making this area more dangerous. of 15 to 20 feet hitting the coastline Wednesday and Thursday. I love looking at the waves and stuff, but they are, it's, it's pretty high today. Franny says she's shocked to see people in the water during these conditions. Now, do the waves look larger than, yes, than usual? Yes, yes, they, they do. They do. And other parts of the of the beach over in Monterey, they're, they're actually out there surfing through all this, so... Hopefully everybody will be okay. The Monterey Coast Guard Station says that there were three water rescues in Monterey County and two in Santa Cruz County on Wednesday. Some times where it seems like the surf is not as big as, as it is and then kind of we'll have some sets that will challenge the, the tide lines and may push a little further up to the beach than, than previously kind of observed. Mm -hmm. So we just... We try to be extremely preventative. Sean Nolan with State Park says the most intense water rescue was Wednesday night when four teenagers had to be saved just north of Monterey State Beach. It's kind of an issue. There's there's a, an outcropping of rocks that kind of that pushes out into the into the ocean. So it's not only is it about three quarters of a mile down the beach, maybe even more, but it's also um, kind of behind that rock outcropping, it's it's hard to see. The incident happened at around 7 p.m. Nolan says that four teenagers went into the ocean and got swept away. Out of the four, two were able to self-rescue. One stayed back to help out the other person in the water. For those heading to the beach during this beach hazard statement, Nolan says to be near a lifeguard tower and... You know, stay off wet rocks, never turn your back on the ocean. Um, and then kind of look at the look at the sand and if if it's wet sand it's probably going to get wet again and coming back out here live you can really see and even kind of hear just how strong these waves are now this beach statement will be in place until the end of the day today for now reporting in sand city daniel romero kion news channel 46. All right, now we reached out to the Santa Cruz County Sheriff's Office about a person who was found dead off the coast yesterday. They say that is still under investigation.